In this, uh, we're going to go in and take a look at Report Builder 3.0 and the use of parameters, which are really important. We're going to start out with a, a query parameter, which is uh, not used near as often as report parameters, but they're uh, very easy to configure. Uh, again, we'll be pausing off and on during the video when it's, it's running in the background so that you don't have to wait for pop-ups, etc. So I've got a new report up here and I'm going to select a uh, new data set and I'll do a connection into Matheno Group 2012 and double click that to get that open and now I'll connect it as the current user and we're up and we're running and I'm just going to grab a table this is very simple and we're going to come in and we're going to select the employee table put that check it'll select everything I don't want everything so I'm going to clear that on out and instead all I want is um, job title marital status and gender for a very simple down here now I'm going to execute the query and as you can see down here I've got various job titles marital statuses and gender now let's add a query parameter to it so I'm going to go to edit as text and now I'll select down here this from human resources and I'm going to add the t-sql where clause by the way, this uh, query parameter would vary depending on the uh, interface you were using, the, the uh, you know, to actually do the create the query, and also depending on what the underlying data source uh, was. But now we've got where down here, and I'm going to copy and paste to make sure I don't fat finger. So we'll take gender, Control C, Control V. Now this is the part you got to get equals, and now I'm going to create the parameter. I'm going to use the at sign. And I'm going to name this parameter gender. Clever. Just so that in the interface we'll be able to see it. All right, now I'll execute the query to make sure it works. And it's coming in here and it's giving me this, you know, um, little pop-up down here. Uh, parameter value is blank. And I'm going, to, I'm going to let that execute and you'll see nothing came back. Let's re-execute. And this time I'm going to say uh, parameter value is we're doing gender. So let's go female and I'll say OK and as you see the result set was constrained by my T-SQL where clause so we're going to save that I'm going to save it save as and she pops on up to my uh, uh, report server that I'm using in this instance and I'm going to share data sets and I'm going to name this gender just so that it's easy to see normally you give it a better more descriptive name but we just want to see this and I'll say OK and let it save it and I'll pause while that's happening. Okay, it saved it. Now I'm going to do a new report. <clears throat> I'll do new. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into and I'm going to select a blank report. I'll go over here in data sets. I'm going to right click. I'm going to add the data set. And I'm, there's, there's gender, but let's go in and we'll browse to it just in case. Shared data sets, gender, and I'll say OK. And now let's go in and we're going to go to the insert tab. And I'll use the list because we never do. And I'll just grab a list down in here and I'm going to just drop this stuff anywhere I care. Marital status. And I'll drop gender underneath. It really doesn't much matter. And now I'm going to execute a run. Notice my pop up. And there's my at gender. So let's come through and we uh, let's do M because we did male, female last time. Let's generate it. And then as you can see, now we have a query parameter executed. And you see. This was auto-populated for you. Isn't Report Builder wonderful? All right, thank you, thank you, thank you very much.